Come unto me, all ye that labor, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart. research. This is a school and not a church, and neither are we affiliated with any religious organization. This school is a non-profit, non-nominational, religious, and scientific research organization dedicated to showing the proof and existence of Yahweh, our Elohim, and the operations of his eternal purpose, pattern, and plan operating throughout eternity to this present day. This school was established as a result of a divine vision and revelation given to our founder, Dr. Henry C. Kinley, in the state of Ohio in the year 1931. We were incorporated in the state of California in the year 1958. We hold classes in the United States, Canada, Jamaica, Africa, and other foreign countries. The Omaha class cottage meeting was established in the year 2016. In this school, we use the true, correct, and original name and title of the Father, the Word or Son, and the Holy Spirit, which can be contained in the original Hebrew text. The true name of our Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and has been improperly substituted by Lord. The true title of the Word or Son is Elohim, 
and it hadn't been in proper servitude by God. The name of the Holy Spirit manifest in or out of a physical body is Yahshua, and it has been erroneously substituted by Jesus Christ. Now, Lord and God are titles and not names. The Apostle Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit, tells us in 1 Corinthians 8 and 5 that there are Lord's many and God's many. But we now know each Lord must have a name and each God must have a name also. Elohim is a title. Unlike Lord and God, Elohim is a divine title. That means Elohim is a title that the Creator chose for Himself. Jesus is a name, but it's an erroneous name. A minor investigation on your part into any good dictionary or encyclopedia will prove that neither the Hebrew language, the Greek language, or the Latin language have any letters or characters in their alphabets that will produce the sound that is made by this letter J. And neither was there a letter J in the English language until some 1400 years after Messiah's death. So such names as Jesus and Jehovah are a possible reverence of the true and original name of the Father and His Son. Christ is a title, just like Lord and God. Now, Yahweh is pure spirit, and in this state he is incomprehensible and inscrutable. He is the ultimate source, substance, limits, and bounds of everything. We have Yahweh symbolized on this chart as a cloud. Yahweh is not a cloud. He really chose a cloud to symbolize himself because a cloud has no particular or descriptive shape or form. We have drawn a cloud. All around the edges of this chart to show how everything on this chart is within a cloud. In like manner, everything in the universe abides within this pure spirit state of Yahweh. Now Yahweh knowing that man cannot perceive of him in this pure spirit state. He took on shape and took on form right within himself as Elohim. This is the word of son, a super incorporeal being that is having the shape and form of a man, but without flesh and blood. And this form can only be seen in divine vision and understood in divine revelation. Later on, this self-same spirit manifested himself in the physical body and walked the earth plain as Yahshua the Messiah, who the world calls Jesus Christ. Now there's only one name given until salvation, and we must know that name. So a simple yet intelligent question you should ask yourself is what was the name of the Savior during the time he walked the earth plain? A further understanding of this name and title this name and title can be had by reading a preface on the Holy Name Bible. Also in this school, we teach by the divine pattern of the universe. It is called the divine pattern of the universe because it is Yahweh's pattern. After Yahweh led the children of Israel out of Egypt, he called Moses on top of Mount Sinai and showed him a tabernacle pattern in the vision and instructed him to build one exactly like it in the wilderness of Sinai. The pattern consists of the most holy place, the holy place, and the court round about. These three compartments make up the one tabernacle pattern. Also in this school we show proof how that everything is made and operates according to this threefold tabernacle pattern and absolutely nothing escapes the pattern. Our ten primary constitutional aims and objectives of the Institute are as follows. One, to help you find and know Yahweh our Elohim as he really is and actually exists. Two, to form a new of universal brotherhood of humanity and Yahshua Messiah without distinction of nationality, race, creed, caste, or of color. Three, to investigate the unexplained spirit law or so-called law of nature and powers latent in men. Four, to encourage and promote the study of the scriptures, comparing religion, psychology, philosophy, and modern and practical course science. Five, to extirpate current superstition, skepticism, and ignorance. Six, 
to learn, know, and understand the operation of Yahweh's eternal purpose through the dispensation of ages. Seven, to discern and to discern and avoid being deceived by Lucifer, the serpent, the devil, the dragon, and Satan and his demons operating the mystery of iniquity on earth through the dispensation of time. Eight, to earnestly contend for common salvation and faith, which was once delivered to the sons and children of Yahweh. Nine, to make known that Yahweh from the beginning ordained, there is no other name given among men whereby men can be saved, that's saved in the name of Yahshua the Messiah. And ten, to inherit eternal life now, in the kingdom of Yahshua Messiah with the hope of immortal glorification in the new earth state. Our watchword is peace. Our slogan is speak the truth. We will start our class off this evening with the opening prayer which will be given by my sister Rapunzel Williams. Two selective songs, guest acknowledgments and announcements, and our scripture reading for this evening class is first Peter the second chapter and that will be read by Dr. Stephon Williams. Let us all remain seated for the opening prayer. Good day again class. Good day. Let us bow our hearts and minds to Yahweh Elohim Yahshua Messiah. Father we'd like to thank you for bringing us back once again to another class to learn of your purpose, your pattern, your plan. Yes. I'd like to thank you Father for Light us and strength today, close in our right minds today. I'd like to ask you, Father, that these um, videos is going out today. These classes are going out uh, 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 today, all over the world. Yeah. If you, uh, if if they be edifying to someone, someone's soul mm -hmm. today, Father, if um, they open up somebody's eyes, hearts, and minds yeah. uh, to want to know more about you, to want to know. Who, who you truly are and yes. how you actually exist. Yes. Um, all these things we ask in the only begotten Son, Joshua Messiah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
first-time visitors or no returning visitors. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'd like to say great day to the class. Great day. Our scriptural lesson for today's class is 1 Peter, the second chapter, and I'll be reading from the Holy Name Bible, containing the Holy Name version of the Old and New Testaments critically compared with ancient authorities and various manuscripts revised by the late A.B. Train of the Scriptural Research Association Incorporated reprinted by Yahshua Promotions. That's 1 Peter, 2nd chapter. Wherefore, laying aside all malice and all guile and hypocrisy and envies and all evil speakings as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word, that ye may grow thereby. Since you have tasted that the Savior is gracious, to whom coming as unto a living stone disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of Yahweh and precious. Ye are also as lively stones are built up a spiritual house, a, whole, a holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to Yahweh by Yahshua the Messiah. Wherefore also it is contained in the scripture, Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect, precious, and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. Unto you, therefore, which believe he is precious, but unto them which be disobedient, the stone which the builders rejected, the same is made the head of the corner. And a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense, even to them which stumble at the word, being disobedient whereunto also they were appointed. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praise of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light, which in time past were not a people, but are now the people of Yahweh, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims Abstain from fleshly lusts, which war against the soul, having your conduct honest among the heathen, that whereas they speak against you as evil doers, they may be your good works. Excuse me, they may by your good works, which they shall behold, glorify Yahweh in the day of visitation. Submit yourselves to every ordinance of man for Yahweh's sake, whether it be to the king as supreme, or unto governors as unto them that are sent by him for the punishment of evildoers and for the praise of them that do well. For so is the will of Yahweh that with well-doing ye may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men as free and not using your liberty for a cloak of maliciousness, but as the service of Yahweh. Honor all men, 
love the brotherhood. Fear Yahweh, honor the king. Servants, be subject to your masters with all fear, not only to the good and gentle, but also to the floor. For this is thanksworthy. If a man for conscience toward Yahweh endure grief, suffering wrongfully, for what glory is it if when ye be buffeted for your faults, ye shall take it patiently? But if when ye do well and suffer for it, ye take it patiently, this is acceptable with Yahweh. For even hereunto were, were ye called, because the Messiah also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps, who did no sin, neither was guile found in his mouth, who when he was reviled, reviled not again. When he suffered, he threatened not, but committed himself to him that judges righteously, who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, being dead to sins, should live unto righteousness by whose stripes you were healed. For ye were as sheep going astray, but now, but are now returned unto the shepherd and bishop of your souls. I just read for you 1 Peter, second chapter from the Holy Name Bible. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Great day again, class. Great day. I'd like to remind the class to please silence our cell phones and electronic devices. It's an honor and a pleasure to call our first speaker for this evening class. That'll be Sister Rapunzel Williams. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our friends go to the Ashton side. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, good day again, class. Good day. I'd like to say I'm thankful and grateful once again to uh, uh, be allowed to stand before you again yeah. and to um, say and know a little something about Yahweh, mm -hmm. how he truly is and how he actually exists. Yeah. Um, it's not a, it's not by mistake or a fluke that we all happen to be in the same circle here. It's all, but it's all by the will of Yahweh, right here from the foundation of the world. That's right. Um, and I'm thankful and grateful that I was, that I, that he chose me mm -hmm. uh, to know who he truly is and how he truly exists, mm -hmm. or actually exists. Um, if you want to just pick up for me, please, um, right here where uh, Yahweh introduced his name uh, to Moses at yeah. the burning bush, please. Mm -hmm. Exodus, the uh, third chapter, and I'll start at the first verse. Okay. Exodus 3 and 1 from the Holy Name Bible. It says, Now Moses kept the flock of Jethro, his father in law, the priest of Midian, and he led the flock to the backside of the desert and came to the mountain of Elohim, mm -hmm. even to Horeb. And the angel Yahweh appeared unto him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush. Mm -hmm. And he looked, and behold, the bush burned with fire, and the bush was not consumed. Okay, now it said, Elohim appeared in a flame in a, in a, in a, in a bush. Uh huh. Okay, now what Moses is seeing is not flesh and blood. Right. What Moses is seeing is right up here in his head, Captain. Right. That's how Elohim, Yahweh, appeared to you. Mm -hmm. Okay, it wasn't that it was a, a man here or flesh and blood, like I said, in this bush. Mm -hmm. Yahweh appeared to him right up here in his head, Captain. Right. And divine vision and divine revelation. That's right. The same thing that our founder had. Right. To 
uh, get this class of, of, or this these charts out to us. That's the same thing. Yes. Continue yes. reading. Uh, verse 3, Exodus 3 and 3, Holy Name Bible. And Moses said, I will now turn aside and see this great sight, mm -hmm. why the bush does not burn. And when Yahweh saw that, he turned aside to see Elohim called unto him out of the midst of the bush and, and said, Moses, Moses. And he said, Here am I. And he said, Draw not nigh hither, put off thy shoes from off thy feet. For the place whereon thou standest is holy ground. Moreover, he said, I am the Elohim of thy father, mm -hmm. the Elohim of Abraham, the Elohim of Isaac, and the Elohim of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look upon Elohim. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Yes. yes. And Yahweh said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people, which are in Egypt, and have heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters, for I know their sorrows. Now, when I read that, when I read that, and that part was uh, introduced to me, I thought that was awesome. Mm -hmm. That Yahweh was here in the bush, Elohim was here in the bush, and also he said, I seen their afflictions down here. Right. He seen what they were going through down here. He everywhere. Right. You, you, like like the moderation say, we are drawing a cloud all around the edges of this chart uh -huh. to show that everything on this chart is within a cloud. Right. You cannot get outside Yahweh. Yahweh is everywhere. Right. He's here. He's there. He's everywhere. That's right. Okay. But now, um, now Yahweh introduced him and his name to Moses. You got to that part already, right? Um, no. Okay. Keep reading. Yes. Okay. I started verse eight again. Exodus three and eight, holy name by him. Mm -hmm. Um, yes, and I am come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians mm -hmm. and to bring them up out of that land unto a good land and a large, unto a land flowing with milk and honey, unto the place of the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Amorites and the Parasites and the Hivites and the Jebusites. Now therefore, behold, the cry of the children of Israel is come unto me. And I have also seen the oppression wherewith the Egyptians oppressed them. Come now, therefore, and I will send thee unto, unto Pharaoh, mm -hmm. that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. And Moses said unto Elohim, Who am I? That's right. He said, Who am I? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that I should go unto Pharaoh, and that I should bring forth the children of Israel out of Egypt. Mm -hmm. And he said, Certainly I will be with thee. And this shall be a token unto thee that I have sent thee when thou hast brought forth the people out of Egypt. Ye shall serve Elohim upon this mountain. And Moses said unto Elohim, Behold, when I am come unto the children of Israel, and shall say unto them, The Elohim of your fathers hath sent me unto you, and they shall say to me, What is his name? What shall I say unto them? And Elohim said unto Moses, Aya, Asher, Aya. Mm -hmm. That's he, what we have right here on this chart. Uh -huh. Aya, Asher, Aya. Mm -hmm. That means, I will be what I will to be. That's right. Mm -hmm. Continue. Yes, sir. He said, and Elohim said unto Moses, Aya, Asher, Aya. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I will be, mm -hmm. hath sent me unto you. And Elohim said, Moreover unto Moses, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, Yahweh the Elohim of your fathers, the Elohim of Abraham, the Elohim of Isaac, and the Elohim of Jacob, hath sent me unto you. This is my name forever, and this is my memorial unto all generations. He said, my, you tell him my, Yahweh, mm -hmm. you tell him Yahweh, this is my name forever. Right. Not Lord, Jehovah, God, and Jesus Christ. That's right. The one that we grew up on. Right. The one we found out wasn't nothing but a fairy tale. Right. Like, like, like how the Egyptians here had, had all these gods over here. Right. Okay. They couldn't do nothing for their soul. Right. They stand there in the corner and not move, not talk, not breathe, not eat, not nothing. That's right. But that's exactly what these are right here. Uh -huh. They just stand in the corner somewhere because they got no life for you. Right. And he said, you tell them my name is Yahweh. Uh -huh. You tell them my name is Yahweh. And this is my name forever. That's right. 
and this is my memorial for all generations. That's right. So don't just stop at this generation, but you carry this name on further on. Yeah. To your own people, grandkids, kids. You just keep carrying this name over to everybody that you meet. Because this is the name right here. That's right. Okay. Um now when I was introduced to Yahweh not realizing that uh there's not there's not a move I can make on my body which I, what I'm talking about is walking or talking or breathing mm -hmm. that I'm not moving walking and talking to Yahweh. Right. Okay. I when when I take a step, my hand swing, my hand swing Yahweh, mm -hmm. my feet. Mm -hmm. If I'm jumping jacks, I'm jumping jacks Yahweh. That's right. You know, if I'm running, I'm running Yahweh. Right. I I can't get outside of them. I breathe. Yeah. You know, I'm I'm breathing Yahweh. You know, right. and then. Here, Yahweh is also on my face. Mm -hmm. I got the, the line here, which go right here to the Y. That's right. And then I get right <laughs> down here to the to the to the A, yeah. and that's that's the side of my nose right here. That's right. Right here covers the makes the line for the A. Yeah. And I get right here to my mouth. On the sides right here is a line right here for the H. All right. And this right here is a line in the middle of that H. Right. So I got to thinking about when uh, <laughs> when cattle men had their cattle and uh, they go and they brand that animal on the side of behind. Yeah. That's what we all are. Like, we all branded. Yeah. Huh? We all branded. Don't even know that we branded. <laughs> but truly, truly, trust and believe you branded. That's right. <laughs> you branded and got the seal of Yahweh on you. Oh, all huh? right. And, 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 and come to find out also, I got wise in my hand. Yeah. My veins break out of wise. Yeah. How it says in the moderation, we had drawn a cloud all around the edge of this chart to uh, show uh -huh. that everything on this chart is within a cloud. Right. You cannot get outside of Yahweh. Right. I don't care what you, who you want to call on. Right. You want to call on Lord Jehovah God and Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> you can continue on to call on that, but you still, it's still Yahweh. That's right. It's still he's still on here. I don't know how I can make an L or a J or any of these all kind of gods anywhere on my body. Uh -huh. huh. I even went and checked out when Dr. Stefan had told me about the Y's in my hand. I even went and checked out that my pet had Y's on their on they paws. Uh -huh. So you cannot get out and and you cannot get outside of Yahweh. Yeah. You, you cannot get outside of Yahweh. It's a wonderful thing. Yeah. And also, uh, Moses was the first one. Uh, Moses wrote the first five books of the Bible. Right. So Moses mo wrote the law. Uh -huh. Of Yahweh, uh -huh. okay, and Moses wrote uh, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Right. You know those, those, and 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 by Moses writing that, mm -hmm. he also had to know about who he was writing about. Right. Okay, it wasn't like you uh, we write novels and books and stuff, and we think of actors and authors and stuff like that, but. Moses was first hand. <laughs> uh -huh. Moses knew exactly what to write because he was told who to, Yahweh was telling him what to write about the by the law. Right. You know, about the by by the law. Uh -huh. You know, what we all what we all have to first start off with. Yeah. I remember uh being in a religious world, pick up that Bible and sometimes you just you pick it up and and whatever page to follow, that's what you're going to read, mm -hmm. you know, or whatever chapter falls in, that's the chapter that you're going to read. Or you go in the back of that Bible and you try to pick out stuff that's going to try to fit whatever's going on with you in your life. Yeah. You got money problems, you got depression, you sick, you're an alcoholic, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Or just go in that back of that Bible thinking you're going to find something. Right. Now, when I went back to that Bible and thought I was looking for something for depression, and then I <laughs> had asked. Dr. Stephon Williams, I said, Well, I'm going I'm looking for something for depression. And he says, What are you looking for that at? And I go, back here in the back where got a whole list of stuff that you can look up to. He said, No, that's not where it's at. Uh -huh. <laughs> you're not going you're not gonna find nothing what you're looking for in the back of that to try to tell you about something about yourself. Right. Huh? You you first Yahweh first have to show this teaching to you. Right. And those people who are watching for the first time or the second time 
or still trying to figure it out on the third time, mm -hmm. Yahweh will reveal it to you if it's his will. Right. And we all want it to be his will mm -hmm. because this is a wonderful teaching. Yeah. It's, it's truly wonderful. So I am thankful and grateful. And I just wanted to just share that a little bit there for, with, for, just a, for just a few minutes. I just wanted to share that. Mm -hmm. I just want to just give a little uh, thanks to um, Yahweh yeah. for, um, like I said, choosing me from the foundation of the world because Yahweh truly is <clears throat> the way, the truth, and the life. Could you uh, get that for me, please? Let's say it again now. Yahweh is truly the way, the truth, and the life. Could All you? right. You want that, uh, yes. that verse, chapter yes. and verse read? Yes, please. That's, um, let's see here, John. The 14th chapter, and let's see around the 6th verse. John, John 6, I mean, excuse me, John 14. John the 14th chapter, and the 6th verse. It says, I'll start at verse 5. Okay. John, the 14th chapter, verse 5, Holy Name Bible. Thomas saith unto him, Rabbi, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Yahshua saith unto him, I am the way, mm -hmm. the truth, That's and right. the life. That's right. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So now, you can't get to the Father <laughs> mm -hmm. by Lord Jehovah. God and Jesus Christ. That's right. And whatever else you want to call. That's right. Uh, I would say your higher power, who you think that is. <laughs> right. Okay. Because they power. like to say, people like to say, oh, my higher uh -huh, power. Yes. You know, I hear that higher power stuff uh -huh. just about all day long. Uh -huh. You know, but puzzle, who's your higher power? Right. Don't ask me. Don't ask me no, who y'all. I should ask y'all who y'all want to. Who y'all want y'all higher power to be? Right. But it's sure not none of them names that y'all be naming off. <laughs> right. It, that's that. That's sure not it. That's not it right there. Yeah. Those are make believe. You might as well go ahead and start reading the three little pig story to people because that's about what you got going on right here. A bunch of fairy tale, three blind mice because yeah. the whole world has been blinded by these names right here. Yeah. Huh? And that's and, and when I hear people say them, and I think just think there's a million more people saying them blind names also. Yeah. You know, there's a million more people saying these same blind names right here, yeah. or words right here. They don't know. They don't know the true name of our heavenly Father Yahweh yeah. and the Word of Son of Elohim and the Holy Spirit Yahshua Messiah. Right. Huh? These three are one. Could you get for me Deuteronomy six and four, please? All right. Deuteronomy. These three, this Lord Jehovah God and Jesus Christ, have no resemblance to him whatsoever. Right. Huh? They have no they don't even start out with the first three letters. <laughs> like Yahweh, uh -huh. Yahshua. He come in his father's name. Right. Okay. I come in my father's name, last name Terrell. Right. Dr. Williams coming his father's last name was Williams. That's right. There's a resemblance in them last names. That's right. I don't care if the woman married the man or she kept, she still kept her own her her same name. Uh -huh. Her name still came from her father. That's right. Okay, so the name ain't changed. Mm -hmm. So if he said, could you pick that one up for me when you? Well, okay, uh, that's John uh, the fifth chapter. Yes. I get that for this one. Yes, sir. De Deuteronomy six and four. Mm -hmm. It says, "Hear, O Israel." Yahweh our Elohim is Yahweh a unity. Mm -hmm. Now, Yahweh our Elohim is Yahweh a unity. These three go together. Huh? Right. Now, this Lord God, Jesus Christ, that's trending. Right, huh? right. They, I, I, like I said, they have no resemblance whatsoever. Right. Huh? This is like, uh, I, I want to say like a red-headed stepchild. And it has no resemblance whatsoever to the rest of the family. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? But now, I know. That Yahweh Elohim Yahshua Messiah, these three are one. Right. Because I myself 
am a wife, a mother, a daughter, a sister, a, a, a employer, an employee, mm -hmm. all in the same body. I'm not jumping out, jumping in, jumping out, jumping in. I stay right. in the same body. Right. This body is intact all, at all times. Right. I have a head cavity, chest cavity, double cavity. These three got to be in place at all times. Right. They cannot be missing at, at any time. Right. I can miss a limb, a leg, a foot, a hand, or arm, or toe. But I, these three have got to be intact at all times. Right. Okay, um, let's see here. John, the fifth chapter. Um, let's see here. John 5. Yeah, John 5 and 43, Holy Name Bible. I am come in my Father's name, mm -hmm. and you receive me not. Mm -hmm. Let another come in his own name, him ye will receive. He said, I come in my Father's name. Yahshua, Yah, Yahweh, Yah. I come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. Mm -hmm. But let all these other names come up, them names you would receive. Yeah. Huh? You would eat them names up now, to the point to where you want to go and get baptized. Right. <laughs> you want to go give your money to the pastor. Yeah. Huh? You want to pay the building funds for the church and all that kind of stuff. Uh -huh. You want to you want to go to uh, circumcision, ceremonies, baptism, Passovers. Sacrifices and take them. You want to do all them kind of things, huh? For this name right here, which is not but work, huh? Yeah. You try to work upon some kind of salvation, which I found out that was crazy. Uh -huh. You know, I'm trying to work up some kind of salvation, but I'm still doing what I want to do. Yeah. But I think that I could mow the 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 churchyard and plant flowers and clean off the pews with the <laughs> uh, famous. Uh, uh, furniture spray yeah. and you know clean the bathrooms. I'm thinking I'm I'm really I know where I'm going, yeah. you know, because I'm volunteering and clean up the church, you know. Yeah. So yeah. I've got myself uh, psyched up thinking, but I find out this ain't nothing right here because this is this was fulfilled. Right. <laughs> Yahweh fulfilled all this stuff for us, uh -huh. so we don't gotta go and sit in nobody pure and, and listen to the preacher in the pit. Right. Pool pit. Right. Uh, we don't gotta do that <laughs> because now it's been in our hearts and minds. Right. Could you get for me uh, Hebrew eight, uh, ten to thirteen, please? All right. Hebrews. Uh, what's the chapter? Uh, Hebrew eight. Eight chapter. Yes. Okay. Hebrew eight and what verse? Uh, ten to thirteen. All right. Hebrew the eight chapter verse ten to thirteen Holy Name Bible. But this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, says Yahweh, I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts. And I will be to them their Elohim, and they shall be to me my people. And they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know ye Yahweh, for all shall know me from the least to the greatest. For I will be merciful to their unrighteousness and their sins and their iniquities will I remember no more. And in that he said a, a new covenant he hath made the first old. Now that which decayeth and waxes away, and which waxes old is ready to vanish away. He said, I will write it now in your hearts and your minds. Uh -huh. huh? That and when you think about it, that's that's permanent in your heart and your mind. That, yeah. You know what I mean? You, you've been doing all this stuff here thinking it's going to get you somewhere, but that's not going to get you nowhere. It's already done. Yahweh fulfilled all these things over here. Right. But, but that this satanic spirit that took this stuff and then drug it on over here. Uh -huh. And I'm not quite sure if I can see over here, but it says, Cardinal Orders is restored. Yeah. So now the religious world has put this stuff back in place again uh -huh. to do this all over again yeah. as if Yahweh hadn't fulfilled this. So right. therefore you're calling him a liar. Right. That he didn't do what he said he did. Right. Huh? But now he said, I write it in your hearts and your minds. All right. This is a school and not a church. That's right. And as our first aim is to help you find no Yahweh or Elohim as he really is and actually exists. Yes. Yeah. This is false stuff going on right here. Yeah. Huh? This is false right here. Uh -huh. If you got anything out of this, all praises, go to Yahshua Messiah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Great day again, class. Great day. Uh, it's an honor and a pleasure to call our second speaker for today's class, Dr. Stefan Williams. Dr. Williams.
I'd like to say great day to the class. Great day. I'd like to say also a great day to those that are viewing this, uh, this class yeah. video. Especially those that are viewing this class video for the very first time. I'd like to say great day to you. Um, I'm faithful and grateful to be here. Uh, and I thank Yahweh so much for bringing me back to the other class to learn more of him. How he truly is how to actually exist. Yes. To learn more of his, his, his eternal divine purpose, pattern, and plan, and how our salvation has already been accomplished. And I truly enjoyed the uh, testimony of the first speaker. That was very, very, very edifying, very, very good, very encouraging. Um, like the first speaker said in, in our moderation states, in every moderation, that this is a school and it's not a church. And neither are we affiliated with any religious organization. Yes. This is a scientific, religious research organization, okay? And what we do. All right, so um, just going to just pick off what the previous speaker left off. Let me pick up what the previous speaker left off. Um, let's see here. Let's get a couple, let's get a, just a couple of vision scripted real quick why it's very important to. Uh, to have uh, a divine vision like um, like was given to our founder, Dr. Henry Clifford Kimmel, he said, well, how in 1931? And, and, um, these are, these patrol illustrations, what you see before you is a result <coughs> in, a patrol, in a pictorial form of what was shown to our founder in his divine vision great, stupendous, panoramic divine vision accompanied by the divine revelation given to our founder, okay, and I'm not going to go into uh, that any, any deeper than that, but, and um, he was charged by Yahweh to have these charts drawn out, okay? Yes. <clears throat> um, but truly, if, if, if one was, one knows without a shadow of a doubt, and was, given vision, and was given divine vision, divine revelation, as the first speaker already states, that's the only way you want to know about your Heavenly Father and your Savior, right? Right. He has to, not that he has to, right. but if he wills to reveal himself unto you, okay? Mm -hmm. He's going to reveal himself unto you like he revealed himself to Moses back here at the burning bush, okay? Yes. He's going to reveal himself inside of you. Okay, and um, that's what happened to our founder. Yahweh just took over the vessel, okay, yes. and used it, and, and just took over the vessel to get his get his gospel out. He is he is the gospel himself, meaning Yahweh El and Yahshua, or get his message out in his last prophetic seconds. Mm -hmm. Okay, of this present kingdom, a the fourth. Age, present kingdom age, okay? At the end of his age, all right? Yes. And this is um, how Yahweh wants his people to learn of him, okay? Yes. This is one of the ways I say it like that. And like this first speaker say, you learn of him by the physical creation, by your, by your physical body, okay? And everything in the creation, invisible and invis invisible, and invisible, okay? Yes. Um, you're going to get Proverbs 29:18, okay, and then go to Romans, the first chapter, verse 19 and 20. But get, get Proverbs 29:18, please. Proverbs 29:18, whole name Bible. Read on. Where there is no prophetic vision. Okay, so now it says where there is no prophetic vision. So that tells one how important it is that one have a divine vision. Yes. All right? Accompanied by divine revelation. What does that mean? To have or get the understanding of what the vision was showing you, what, what, what to get the explanation of what was shown to you, what it's all about. Okay? Yes. So it says where there is no prophetic vision. What happens? The people perish. Okay, so those that are viewing this video, this class for the very first time, or, or, or like the previous speaker said, your first, second, or even third time, if you have not seen these 
these pictorial illustrations, these charts, these plates that are on tables, in, in any of your uh, religious affiliations, that tells you that your bishop, your I just say your leader, just just, just to make it brief and short, your leader, uh -huh. okay, was not shown, or Yahweh Elohim Yahshua did not reveal himself, like revealed himself to Moses, uh -huh. all right, in the supreme corporeal form, in the form of a man without flesh and blood, is that right? That's right. Like revealed himself to John, this of Patmos, okay? Right. In the form of men, but without flesh and blood, okay? Mm -hmm. To Aaron, Nadab, and Bobby, the seven elders, all right? Over here to Peter, James, and John, the seven chosen, all right? Mm -hmm. And to our founder, and not just him, to, to Isaiah and all the prophets, you understand? Right. Over in our day and time, we're now residing now, you know what I mean? The Apostle Saul, okay? Mm -hmm. All the apostles, okay? Um, Deacon Stephen, mm -hmm. okay? Philip. You understand? And all the rest of them. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's that's what that's very, in other words, that's very uh, important that that happens. Now go ahead and start over again. It says where 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 there is no prophetic vision. Romans 29 and 18 Bible. Proverbs 29 and 18. Yes, Proverbs, excuse me. Proverbs 29. In verse 18, read, Bible. read on. Where there is no prophetic it vision. It said, Where there's no prophetic vision, meaning what you see the totally strange before you, is a result of it. If you don't see it where you're going to worship, what's, what's happening? The people perish. You're perishing. It means you're dying. Your soul is dying. The first speaker already said that Old, said Old Testament is fulfilled, cardinal ordinances, has a, has a hand pointing to, to this act right here, right? Right. Said that calling oil is what's fulfilled, meaning brought to an end. Okay? Mm -hmm. Meaning, if you're doing water baptism, eating Lord's suppers, or erroneously, Lord's suppers, what it's called erroneously, it was called the Passover feast. Mm -hmm. They still have a Passover feast today. Okay? Yes. Lord's suppers, trying to keep trying to keep Ten Commandment laws, trying to um, yeah, do water baptism, all the different ceremonies and um um, things of that nature on this side of the cross, okay? Mm -hmm. You cannot do nothing right. for your soul or your or for your conscience, okay? Mm -hmm. It's invalid anyway on this side of the cross, okay? Right. All right, we're gonna read that. In the, we're gonna read that in a minute, okay? okay? But the point I'm making, there is circumcision going on on this side of the cross, right? Okay, there is baptism going on this side of the cross. Mm -hmm. There is sacrifice going on on the side of the cross, okay? Mm -hmm. Right here it says spiritual sacrifices. sacrifices. You see right here it says physical sacrifice. Why is it physical sacrifice on this side? And it says spiritual sacrifice on this side. You understand what I'm talking mm -hmm. about? Sacrifices. Sacrifices. See, see, see what I'm talking about? Yes. The principle remains the same, but the manifestation changes, okay? Mm -hmm. So. Physical sacrifices on this side of the cross is invalid, okay? Right. Cannot do nothing for one's soul, okay? We are in the spiritual age, and our creator, Yahweh, wants to be worshiped in spirit and truth. You might need to pick that up. Write down uh, John 4, and about, start about 20, you start about, about 23, okay? So, as Proverbs 29, 18 says, without prophetic vision, the people perish, meaning their souls are steady being dying because they're doing they're doing these acts right. on this side of the cross in in the religious um, sex. You know what I'm talking about by saying like that in the religious world itself. All right, okay, yeah. that's good. So I want you to give me now Romans, the first chapter, verse 19 and 20, Holy Name Bible. Romans. So as the first speaker said. Our first aim in, in our in our school is says to help you find and know Yahweh our Elohim as he really is how it actually exists. Yes. Okay? So that's what these classes are set up for. Yes. To help one find and know. That's right. Your Heavenly Father Yahweh, Elohim, Yahshua, how he how he truly is how he actually exists. Alright? Mm -hmm. Read on please. Romans. Chapter 1, verse 19 and 20, Holy Name Bible. Read on. Because 
that which may be known of Yahweh. All right, I'm just going to use this pictorial picture right here. It says Yahweh is spirit, substance, essence, formless, all right? In its ultimate state of existence, and I would say in its, in its abstract state, okay? Can't scrutinize, can't, uh, uh, scrutinize him, can't taste him, can't touch him, can't smell him, okay? Incomprehensible in this state. But it's just read right there. But that which may be known, we can so we can know something some. about our heavenly Father. Not all of Him, but some of Him. And this is, is a prescribed way that we can. Okay, mm -hmm. read on. Because that which may be known of Yahweh uh -huh. is manifest in them. It says manifested in them. So we're talking about them who them back here under the law. Okay, or back under the old covenant. I'll see it like that on the side of the cross. Okay would manifest it to them, okay? I will say to the Hebrews, all right? But just under the old covenant, so he's referring to them, but he's also referring to those on this side of the cross, to us, I would say it like that, okay? okay. Read. Because that which may be known of Yahweh is manifest in them. It's manifest in them, read. For Yahweh has shown it unto them. See, Yahweh has shown it unto them. You understand what I'm talking about? Read. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world. All right, so the invisible things, see, the invisible things of Yahweh, who was invisible from the creation of the world, read. Are clearly seen. Are clearly seen, meaning, meaning, meaning those invisible things, all right? Mm -hmm. We can see invisible things clearly. But there's a method, read, there's a prescribed way, read. Being understood by the things that are made. That's how we can understand invisible things and know about a visible know about invisible things by the things that are made. The first figure already told you that she's a mother, she's a sister, she's a wife, she's an employee, all all in this one body. Alright? Yes. She doesn't have a a a, a an employee body over here, a sister body here, a mother body here, a wife body here. Is that right? That's right. One body, mm -hmm. right? Many manifestations, right? Meaning, meaning this, this is, in, in other words, this is something, in other words, this body was made right. by Yahweh Elohim, right? To show you, so you can know something about his invisible state, I said like that. You know what I'm saying? By the things that are made. This is one of the things that were made by Yahweh Elohim, the creator himself. Right, right? This is physical. Is that right? To right. show the the unity of the spirit, I can say it like that. All right? In type. Mm -hmm. Okay? Head cavity, chest cavity, abdominal cavity. Is that right? Mm -hmm. The first speaker said. Head cavity, chest cavity, abdominal cavity. Right? Most holy place, holy place, court roundabout. Is that right? Mm -hmm. You also say the Father Yahweh, Elohim, Yahshua, okay? Mm -hmm. Or spirit, soul, body, okay? Tabernacle, physical, all right? Mm -hmm. The point to the invisible, okay? All right? Yes. Continue to read. For the invisible things of... Excuse me. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world uh -huh. are clearly seen. Read. Being understood by the things that are made. What are made? Right, the planets. Uh -huh. Right, uh, like I said, your physical body. Right. right, anything, anything, anything else that you see, the trees, right. the birds. You know what I mean? The, the the amphibians. You understand what I'm talking about? The insects, whatever it may be, that's physical. You can see with your natural eyes. Read. Even his eternal power. All right. Eternal. See, even his eternal power. See, see, even his eternal power. Read. Uh, even his eternal power and supernal nature. See, that's the supernal nature of Yahweh. The first figure I already had read, Deuteronomy 6 and 4. Hear, O Israel, Yahweh our Elohim, see, Yahweh our Elohim, right? Mm -hmm. is Yahweh a unity. You see how I go? Mm -hmm. All right. Not a trinity. Use it right here. It's Yahweh. See, it's a Yahweh is spirit, substance, essence, is able to transmute himself. Into a shape and form of a man, but without flesh and blood, Elohim. This is Yahweh, and not Yahweh Elohim. All right. Mm -hmm. This is his second state of existence. He takes on shape and form, 
Yahweh Elohim, super incorporeal forms, is manifesting in visions to Moses, who the first figure already had read, um, Exodus, the third chapter. See what I'm talking about? Yeah. So it's Yahweh here, Yahweh here, and Yahweh able to come on down to another to another state, all right, mm -hmm. which is which is Yahshua, okay, in physical form of Yahweh manifested in the flesh. You know what I'm talking about? That's right. Yahshua is, is Yahweh in the physical form manifested in the flesh. Okay, so you have three states of three states of Yahweh, mm -hmm. two manifestations of the one spirit. Okay, that's the supernal nature of Yahweh. Okay. Yes. All right. Continue to read. So that they are without excuse. So we Yahweh not going for. We had no we, we had no excuse today. You see that why the information and why these schools are being broadcast. Uh, Yahweh's will on YouTube, yeah. okay, and also also being held, you know, I mean on YouTube, but also the classes are being in buildings. You understand what I'm talking about? But yes. some classes are being broadcast on YouTube to get out to the, all the the whole world. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? To mm -hmm. get information, and when you hear the information, check it out for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because Yahweh just you just read there. He said you have no excuse. To know the reality and the truth about your heavenly Father and your Savior, okay? Do your research, okay? Yes. All right. Yes. All right. So now, let's get um, John. Yes, get John four and start about twenty third verse, please. John four and twenty three, Holy Name Bible. Read on. But the hour coming. See, that's why that, wow, that's is very important now. But I'm getting his message being is being broadcast. All across the world on YouTube. Yes. You know what I'm talking about on other social media, right? right? This is the reason why, read. But the hour comes. See, the hour is come. See, we just read in the scripture lesson that said, don't miss the visitation of Yahweh Elohim Yahshua coming through vessels, you know what I mean, that you may see on, on, on a YouTube. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? But it's not who you who you who you perceive it to be from a physical standpoint, it's what's coming through. The, the individual, you understand? We, 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 what we say, vessels, okay? Mm -hmm. It's Yahweh. You understand what I'm talking about? He said, Now the hour is come. Read. But the hour coming, uh -huh. and now is. Now the hour has arrived. See? The hour has arrived unto you. Read. When the true worshiper. When the true worshiper, see this right here, calling the ordinances, physical sacrifice, water baptism, trying to keep, trying to keep the Ten Commandment law. Right. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, 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 physical sacrifices, Lord's Supper's Passover feast, trying to keep that on this side of the cross. Okay? Mm -hmm. Read that again. But the hour coming, and now is, uh -huh. when the true worshiper. Okay, so this, calling the ordinances, you got them saying physical water baptism, trying to keep taking back the law, trying to keep the Sabbath day, and this, that, and the other, trying to keep Lord's Supper and Passover feast. Or on this side of the cross. You understand? Right. That's false worship. worship. You understand what I'm talking yes. about? Because he just said, read it again. But the hour coming, uh -huh. and now it is here. When the true worshiper read. shall worship the Father How? In, spirit in spirit and in truth. All right. Read. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. For the Father Yahweh seeketh such to worship him. Read. For Elohim is spirit. Well, Yahweh Elohim is spirit, read. And they that worship him. They that worship him, read. Must. It's a mandate. You understand? If there's no other way, must. This is a this is a command. This is a charge. We must, he wants to be worshipped a certain way, and this is the way he wants to be worshipped. You understand what I'm talking about? In spirit and in truth. You understand? Read. For Elohim is spirit. Read. And they that worship him uh -huh. must worship him. How? In spirit and in truth. All right. Not in physical cardinal ordinances right. on this side of the cross. You know what I mean? It's not spirit and truth. It's okay. flesh and it's a lie. Okay? Or you can say it's flesh, carnal. You understand what I'm talking about? And false mm -hmm. on this side of the cross. All right? Right. All right. So now let's get real quick here. Going to get um, Hebrews six and one. Go on down. Just get just just start just start at one. Okay. Go on down. Yeah. 
Hebrews 6 and 1. Mm -hmm. Holy name Bible. Read on. Therefore, leaving the beginning of the doctrine of the Messiah, uh -huh. let us go on into perfection. Now let us go on into perfection. Read. Not laying again. Not laying again. See, like the first figure said, the satanic spirit has dragged the corner ordinances on over to this side of the, on this side of the cross, right? Mm -hmm. So he's laying again. You know uh -huh. what I'm talking about? <laughs> well, Yahshua would say that he brought to an end, meaning fulfilled it, didn't destroy it, but fulfilled it. Is that right? Mm -hmm. And moved out of the way. Read. Not laying again the foundation of repentance. Uh huh. From, not, uh, read from the works, from the works of death. Uh huh. This this is death works. It's dead works on this side of the cross. You understand what I'm talking about? Read. And of faith towards Yahweh. Uh-huh. Of the doctrine of baptism. The doctrine of baptism, read. And of laying on of hands. Uh-huh. They love they, 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 they preach to love to lay hands on folks. Ain't that something? Yes, they do. Read. And baptize the physical water on this side of the cross. You understand what I'm talking about? Read. And of the resurrection of the dead. Uh-huh. And of eternal judgment. Read. And this will and this will we do uh -huh. if Yahweh permit. Read. For those who were once enlightened. Now for those that were once enlightened and, and are being enlightened today, you know what I'm talking about? Uh -huh. You just say you was once woke. Now what was you enlightened about? See, you was enlightened about, you didn't know that your heavenly father's name was Yahweh That's right. instead of Lord. You didn't know that, your, that the divine title of your father, Yahweh, was Elohim. That's right. You didn't know that the name of the true correct name of your help of your Savior is Yahshua instead of Jesus Christ. You didn't know that. All right? Mm -hmm. All right? Yes. You didn't know that water baptism wasn't valid on this side of the cross. You didn't know Passover feasts is wrongly called Lord's Supper was was invalid on this side of the cross. You didn't you didn't know that, no. right? You didn't know you put you put the Ten Commandments on this side of the cross. You didn't know that. No. You understand what I'm talking about? He said, "Now you, now you, you, you have got the information that going out. You know what I mean? The hour has come unto you. You see what I'm talking about? You have tasted it. You have tasted the truth. You have come into, into the knowledge of the truth. Read. For those who were once enlightened, who's enlightened about this, read, and have tasted of the heavenly gift, have tasted of the heavenly gift. Read." And were made partakers of the Holy Spirit. And was made partakers of the Holy Spirit. Read. And have tasted the good word of Yahweh. Have tasted. Read. And the powers of the ages to come. And the powers of the ages to come. See, we, we have on this chart, it's like ages and dispensation chart. Okay. We are we now reside in the fourth age, present kingdom age. Okay. You had... One, two, and three ages prior to the fourth age we now reside in. Okay, do we have a fifth age, kingdom age coming up? And it says six and seven ages to come. Okay, good. so the ages to come. Read, read that part again. Okay, and have tasted the good word of Yahweh. Uh huh. And the powers of the ages to come. All right, read. If they shall fall away, uh -huh. it is impossible. If they should fall away, so you have tasted, you have tasted it. Okay. You didn't fell back to it. You see, you see what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. You didn't taste the truth. You, you have you have come into contact with the heavenly gift, right? Read that part again right there. If they have fell away, if they fall away fall from away, the truth, it is impossible. It's impossible to renew them again. Whoa, ain't that something? Huh? That, you, better, that, you better hear that. You see what I'm talking about? It's impossible. You know what impossible means, right? Impossible. It's impossible to do what? To renew them again. To renew them again. Why is that? Read. Unto uh, repentance. Uh huh. Read. Seeing, seeing they crucified. You see that? To themselves the son of Yahweh. See, then does because you keep on doing this act to him. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Crucifying your Savior afresh. That's what they're doing today. Yeah. Read. Uh. This, uh, is a one time, this is a one-time act? Yes. You're not getting back on the cross no more. You see what I'm talking about? Yes. Read, come on. Crucifying to themselves the son of Yahweh uh -huh. the flesh. Uh -huh. And put him in an open shame. Put him to an open shame. Read. But Boy. we're not ashamed. You see what I'm talking about? Yeah, people are ashamed, but we are not ashamed of the gospel of Yahshua Messiah. You understand what I'm talking about? Read. 
For the earth which drunketh of the rain. That's good. That's, that, was, that was great. Okay. All right. So now, did you get that? Yes. Go on and get this real quick here. Get Proverbs uh, be 3 and 15, I believe that's what I uh, had. Proverbs 3 and 15. Read that, please. Because the first thing it said that this cloud that goes all the way around this chart will symbolize Yahweh, symbolize eternity, right? You can't get outside of Yahweh. That's right. First thing it said, there, there's, no, there's nowhere that Yahweh isn't. Is that right? That's right. Read on. <laughs> Proverbs 3 and 15, Holy Name Bible. I believe that's true, right? Go ahead. She. No, is that. I mean, Proverbs 15 and 3, I'm sorry. Okay, Proverbs, Proverbs 15 and 3. Proverbs 15 and 3. Yeah. Holy Name Bible. Read Proverbs on. 15 and 3. Holy Name Bible. Read on. The eyes of Yahweh. All right. The eyes, read. Come on. The eyes of Yahweh are in every place. It said, now the eyes of Yahweh is in every place. Do you have eyes on your face? Yes. So that means the eyes of Yahweh. Read again. The uh. Proverbs 15 and 3. Read. The, uh, hold on, everybody. The eyes of Yahweh are in every place. Now, wait a minute. It said the eyes. The, are, so, are your eyes embedded inside your head? Yes. So, that means Yahweh is inside of you. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. Everywhere you, every step you take, every every breath you make, you know what I'm talking about? Yes. He's there. You understand what I'm yes. talking about? In each, in each and every creature I say it like that that has eyes. That's right. That could be the birds, the insects, whatever has eyes on them. You know what I'm saying? The fish, you know what I'm talking about? That's the right. whales, the, the sharks, you know what I'm saying I'm talking about? Right. Read that again. A Proverbs fifteen and three hundred and five. Read the eyes of Yahweh uh -huh. are in every place. Are in every Place. See, we see we, that's the that's the verse of Yahweh. We, we be looking at Yahweh all the time. Yahweh looking at us. That's right. We looking at Yahweh. Yahweh looking at us. You know what I'm saying? And, and not only that, but Yahweh is inside of us. Because you got through saying the idol Yahweh are in every place. place. You know what I mean? Right. Like the first thing it said, there's no place or nowhere where Yahweh isn't. You know what I mean? Right. Visible and in, invisible and visible. Read, read. Beholding the evil and the good. Beholding the evil and the good. You see what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Why y'all be looking at all this? <laughs> There's nothing he don't know. There's nothing that we can get 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 a, get by with. Ain't that something? That's right. You see what I'm talking about? Y'all is merciful. You see what I'm talking about? That's beautiful. Is that it? Yes, sir. All right. So now, let's um, let's see here. The first speaker uh, uh, that was really beautiful about the, uh, it's, 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 that's always beautiful, always beautiful here about the name of Yahweh of the Yahshua. Beautiful thing. Um, what time you got on there? 20. Okay, got 20 minutes. Okay, um, let's see here. Uh, let me get a couple places where the names are. Go, go to Proverbs. Proverbs 20, uh, I mean, Proverbs 30 and 4. Okay. Get, um, get, um, Zechariah 14 and 9. Then get Matthew 28 and 19. Matthew 28. And 19. Uh huh. <coughs> and get Acts 4, we start about 10. Go ahead and read, please. Uh huh. Proverbs 30 and 4, Holy Name Bible. Let's just hold it right there. So, I like to always do this because um, the first big artist already uh, had had had, uh, had, had uh, Exodus third chapter uh, read about Moses receiving divine vision out here at uh, at um, the land of Midian. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Yeah. Reveal the name to Moses. I mean, to the very, to the very, you know, very to, to, to Moses. In other words, this is the man, mm -hmm. the very first man that Yahweh revealed his name to Moses. 
Okay, but we, but now Moses is 80 years old when he received that. Now, so we understand that Moses had to, in other words, so we're going to pick Moses up. Mm -hmm. All right, where well, he was born down here in Egypt. Okay, Exodus 2. Is that right? Yeah. So we know he was raised in Pharaoh's household. We know and understand that mother put him in the ark of bush, bull rush, and sit him down, you know, sit him down the river. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yeah. And um, we understand that. Um, I believe was his mold, was his Pharaoh's daughter fetched him out, got him out of the. Yes. But the point I'm making. Her, her, her maid. Her maid. Okay, yeah. but the point I'm making, Moses was born down here, so mm -hmm. before he got 80. Right. You know what I mean? He had to be he had to start up at, at, at days old. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm talking about? So that's what I'm saying. Moses was born down here on the death decree, Exodus 2, and then we understand if you fast forward that he became 40 years old and came into his heart to visit his Hebrew brethren. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm talking about, which were down here. Mm -hmm. Once that he is slew Egyptian, so forth and so on. He, he, he um, buried the Egyptian. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Slew him, death, burial, rise, you know what I mean? And, uh, he, the word got out about what he did, so he fled or resurrected by the Egypt, right? right. So he's 40, 40, raised in 40 years, came out to the wilderness, 40 and 40 is 80. Okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going to pick this one. This may always, we always want to go uh, um, um, court rounds about okay. holy place, most holy place in time. You see okay. what I'm talking about? Yes. Or, or, you know what I mean? Death, burial, resurrection, ascension. Mm -hmm. You know, death, burial, you know, death, burial, resurrection, ascension. Okay? To show the unity of the spirit or, or, or or witnesses, or, you know what I'm talking about? Yes. One, two, three, yes. right? One, two, three. You see what I'm talking about? Yes. So you want to just cover that. You write it down, Exodus. Just write it down, Exodus 2. You write it down. So now, give Proverbs, go to the Proverbs 30 and 4. Go ahead and read. Proverbs 30 and 4, who named Bible? Read on. Who hath ascended up into heaven? Who hath, I'm just going to use this pictorial illustration. We understand that heaven is not a place. For the sake of understanding, it's going to just going to go up to an upward. So who read that again? Who has ascended up into heaven? Uh huh. Because right here on a chart here it says first heaven. You know what I mean? Like in the earth plane. So people talk about they want to go to heaven. That's right. From a physical standpoint, mm -hmm. we're 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 standing on heaven. We are we in heaven right now, right? Because we because we we in other words, this earth being a planet. Right. You know what I mean? It's a heavenly body. Suspense and media. We, we, we forget that at times. Mm -hmm. We're all suspense and media among, among the other planet. Ain't that something? Ain't that, that's, where we, that, that's where we reside. It's, it's, so we're already in heaven from a physical standpoint because it says first heaven right here. It says in organic earth. That's what you stand it on. That's right. It's like to the altar too. See what I'm talking about? Altar here. Altar here. See what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Earth here. In type. Earth here or first heaven. First heaven, is that right? It says first heaven. You see what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. So who has ascended up to heaven? I'm, so you refer to like the third heaven. Read. Read. Who has ascended up into heaven? Uh -huh. Or descended? Or descended. Who has gathered the wind in his fist? Who has gathered the wind in his fist? Read. Who has bound the waters in the garment? Uh huh. Who has uh, established all the ends of the earth. Now, who has established all the ends of the earth? Actually, they ask the question, who, 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 who's, yeah. who's done that, right? <laughs> who is this? Mm -hmm. Who's done it? Read, read. What is his name? Now, now we, now we said, what is his name? Read. And what is his son's name? Now, what is the father's, now, what is the father's name? Talking about Yahweh. What is his son's name? Yahshua. See how I go? The first thing you already said, Yah and Yah. Is a, is a masculine portion of the Father Yahweh's name, right? The first thing you already had, you read John 5 and 43, I come my Father's name, right? Okay. She said that she came her Father's name, her last name was Terrell, meaning, meaning, meaning her maiden name, mm -hmm. her Father's name Terrell, my Father's name is, Latin, is Williams, my last name is Williams, that's something? That's right. All right, there we go again, it's good, the name, very important to know, right? Yes. Y'all, we not have it. This is a memorial to all generations. You see what I'm right. talking about? Read. And that, that's good. Get for me Deuteronomy, um, not Deuteronomy, Zechariah 14 and 9. Zechariah 14 and 9, uh -huh. Holy Name Bible. Read. And Yahweh 
shall be king over all the earth. Now, Yahweh shall. This is a guarantee. Yahweh shall be king over all the earth. Not Jehovah, not Lord, not God, not Jesus Christ, Allah, Buddha, Krishna, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, Joseph Smith. You know what I'm talking about? For Rah Muhammad. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, Buhala, mm -hmm. Baha, Buhala, mm -hmm. all the rest of them. Read. Read. And Yahweh shall be king over all the earth. Uh huh. And in that day. And in that day, read. Yahweh will prove to be a unity. All right. And with one name. That's something. You call him anything you want to call him. He, <laughs> you call him, he got many names. He ain't, that, ain't what he said, right? No. He will prove to no. have one name. That's right. And prove that he is a unity. That's right. And not a trick. Ain't that something? Prove it. Mm -hmm. see, you see what I'm talking about? Read Matthew 28 and 19. Matthew 28 and 19. Holy name Bible. Uh huh. Go ye therefore. Go ye therefore, Yahweh Messiah says, read. And teach all nations. And teach, the, and teach all nations how. Emerging them and in Emerging me baptized. Does not say baptize them in water, does it? No. It says baptize them how. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Just say baptize, read. No. Emerging them. Don't no, say baptize. No. Say, no, oh. say baptize. Oh, baptize. Emerging. Okay. okay. Yes. Read it again. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Baptizing. Baptizing them how? In the name it of the It doesn't say prophet. water there. It don't say baptize the water there. No, sir. Now so that so your so so yo so your pope, your bishop, your pastor, your reverend, is that right? That's right. He's doing these water baptisms on this side of the cross. Yes. Right? Right. And it, it and he dumping you in that water, it don't say water there, it says baptize him how? In the name, he said, baptize in the name. They dump you, baptize the name of the Father. Boom, you know, it said the name, yeah, right? No, baptize in the name of the name of the name the of the son. word or son. Go bloof in water again, right? Don't say water there, no. right? Right, and just say, just, just give him titles, right? And baptize in the Holy Spirit, go bloof, right? Right, on this side of the cross, see, right, Lying, you know, denying, right, and crucify Yahshua Messiah fresh by doing that. See, what I'm talking That's about. Right. He said, baptizing them in the name of the Father. Uh -huh. That's what we're supposed to be teaching them in, immersing them, right? Right. Ba baptism doesn't 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 all doesn't mean water. Right. You know what I mean? Right. In every instance. See what I'm talking about? Right. And if it did, it's invalid on this side of the cross. You see what I'm talking about? Right. Um, baptize the name of the Father Yahweh, read. And of the Son. The Son, word or son, Elohim, read. And of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit Yahshua, that's what you be what's what you're supposed to be telling the people in. Well, that's what you're supposed to be baptizing or immersing or telling the people, you know what I mean? Right. In your religious sex, right? Mm -hmm. With the name of the Father, the name of the word, the, the title of the word or son, and the Holy Spirit. Those names, but they're not doing that, right? That's right. You see what I'm talking about? All right, that's good. So go to now um, Acts 4 and 10. Start there. Acts 4 and 10, Holy <clears throat> Name Bible. Before you get that, real quick, get Matthew 3. Okay. And uh, Matthew 3. And um, let me see, Matthew 3. I'm tired. About 31. Good. Matthew 3. And. Um, Give Matthew three, Matthew three fourteen and uh, and fifteen, and then give Matthew five seventeen and eighteen. Okay, Matthew five, uh, five seventeen and eighteen. I'm going to read. Okay. Matthew three. Matthew uh, Matthew three fourteen and fifteen. Holy name Bible. I just want to get the word which says Old Testament is fulfilled, or according to ordinances, physical sacrifices. Was fulfilled by the act right here. Read Matthew 3 14 and 15. Holy name Bible. Uh -huh. But John forbade him, saying, uh -huh. I have need to be immersed of thee. I need to be, I need to be every time you read immersed, say baptized. I need okay. to be baptized or immersed of you, Joshua. Read. But John forbade him, saying, I have need to be baptized of thee. Uh huh, Joshua. At, uh huh. At this at, time, on this side of the cross, the third age, post blue age, that's what is taking place. What you're reading about, okay? okay. What's, what's taking place out here at the River Jordan? What you have it down here? You told the straight right here because it says, 
baptism. See what I'm talking about? Okay. 8030. Okay. okay. Read. And comest thou to me. And Yahshua answered. Yahshua and, answered and said, Read. And said unto him, uh -huh. Per it permit me. Permit it. Just 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 do what I <laughs> what I said for you to do, That's John. Right. This got to be done. Because I'm right. fulfilling. Read. Per I'm fulfilling water, water baptism right here while you're doing this to me. I'm fulfilling the water baptism right there, bring it to an end, meaning that way of worship being me. Read, come on. Permit it to be so now. Uh-huh. For thus for thus it becometh us to fulfill Read. all righteousness. All right. Then he permitted him. All right. Matthew 5, 17, 18. Matthew 5, 17 and 18. Holy name Bible. Uh-huh. Think not that I come to destroy the Don't law. Don't think I came in to destroy the law. Read. Or the prophets. Uh-huh. I am not come to destroy. Uh-huh. But to but to fulfill. fulfill. That's right. You see how they go? Read, read. read. For verily I say unto you, uh -huh. till heaven and earth pass, uh -huh. one yacht or the smallest part of the letter read. shall in no way wise pass from the law uh -huh. till it be fulfilled. All right. See, me and complete brought to an end. You know what I'm saying about? It was all pointing to me. The one that figures pointing right here. Mm -hmm. It was all pointing to me. I fulfilled every job, every till. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. Remove it, move, remove that way, remove that way of worship in me and convert it to a spirituality. You see what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Like I say, we got to read and baptize them in the name on this side, not in water. That's right. You see what I'm talking about? Circumcision going on on this side of the cross, but it's circumcision made with our hands. That's right. Solid operation by Yahweh. It's an inside job. You know what I'm talking mm -hmm. about? You for me, uh, Acts 4. And ten. Go ahead, read. Acts four and ten, for name Bible. Read on. Be it known unto you uh, all, uh -huh. and to all the people of Israel, uh -huh. that by the name of Yahshua the Messiah, by the name of Yahshua Messiah, now the read. Whom ye crucified. Whom you crucified, read. Whom Yahweh raised from the dead. Uh huh. Even by his death, burial, resurrection. Read. Even by him. Hold on, now resurrected the quickening spirit. Okay. Tarried on the earth, plain forty days. Set it up to the set it up to the Father, set it up to heaven. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. Ten days later, put out the Holy Spirit on June 6th, Pentecost. Yes. You see what I'm talking about? 9 a.m. in the morning on the June 1st and seven years, seven years later on the Gentiles. You see what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Which you read over. Read. He said, Who you crucified? Okay. So he said, There go again. They crucified your Savior fresh by doing these acts right here. On this side of the cross. You see what I'm talking about? Yeah. We said now, read it again. Be be it known unto you all uh -huh. and to all the people of Israel. That's on this side of the cross. Read. That by the name of Yahshua the Messiah uh -huh. of Nazareth, uh -huh. whom he crucified, uh -huh. whom Yahweh raised from the dead. All right. And he raised a quickening spirit, not a physical body. Read on. Even by him doeth this man stand be here before you hold. Read. This is a stone which was set. At not. This is the stone that was set at not. Read. Of your builders. That your builders. Read. Which is become the head of the corner. Has become the head of the corner. Read. Neither is. Not, not. See, that's that satanic spirit got them got them church builders on corners. Yes. You see what I'm talking about? Yes. Trying to be like the most high. You know what I mean? Trying to be like the most high saying that I'm the head of the corner. Right. You know what I'm saying? No. Right. Did he, he's the head of the corner. Read. We ain't talking about physical corner either. You know what I mean? But right. he's the head of it. Read. Neither is there salvation in any other. There is sal there is salvation. There is no salvation in any other name. Read the first thing I already told you. There is no, sal there is no salvation for your soul in, in, in the title Lord. There is, no soul, there is no salvation for your soul in the name of Jehovah. There is no there there is no uh, uh, salvation in the uh, the erroneous title God. There is no salvation for your soul in, in the name of Jesus. There is no salvation for your soul in the, in the erroneous title of Christ. You know what I mean? That's right. And, and, and Allah, Buddha, Krishna, and, 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 and Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, and Joseph Smith, and, and Farah Muhammad. You see what I'm talking about? And Buha Allah. You know what I mean? Those names are not salvation for your soul. There's only one name, which is Yash Messiah. And you read it, for, read, read it right there again. Neither is there salvation uh -huh. in any other. 
Read. For there is none other name oh, under right. heaven. Under heaven. Read. No other name. Read. Yeah. Stephon won't get it. Bill won't get it. Yeah. You see what I'm talking about? Terry won't get it. You see what I'm talking about? Frank won't get it. You see what I'm talking about? Rapunzel won't get it. You see what I'm talking about? In any other name. There's only one name. Read. Neither is neither is there salvation. And there's, and there's no salvation in any of those names. Read. Yeah. There's no salvation in your dean. Read. Come on. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name All right. under, heaven under heaven given among men Read. whereby men can be saved. All right. That beautiful. <laughs> All right. How many minutes? All right. Going to finish. We're going to finish right here. Going to get the scripture lesson. Start at, um, start at verse 2. 1 Peter uh, 2 and 2 and 1. First Peter two and second. First Peter. First Peter two. Just, just start verse one. Okay. Holy name Bible. Uh huh. Of First Peter chapter two. Verse one. Verse one. Read. Wherefore laying aside, laying aside all now. malice and all guile. All malice and all guile. And hypocrisy. Hypocrisy. Read. And envy. And evil speaking. And evil speaking. Uh huh. Read. As newborn babes. As newborn babes. See, we're we're babes. Read. Desire the sincere milk of Desire the word. Desire the sincere milk see, of the word. So we understand what the sincere milk is. See what I'm talking about? You got to get it now. Get Isaiah 28, 9, and 10. That's the sincere milk you're talking about. Read. Go ahead and read. Just read. Just go ahead and read first. Okay. Uh, as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word. Uh huh. So we understand that the baby, when that mother has that baby, he while going through the development before it comes out, that milk is being stored. Right. That milk is being in, being stored in the breast for that baby for the, when that baby comes out. You see what I'm talking about? I don't know if all women, I don't know if every woman that has a baby breastfeed their babies. Right. But there is milk already prepared, available somewhere. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about by Yahweh. You see what I'm talking about? Yes. For that baby to get that sincere milk. That's right. Meaning the law and the prophets. You see what I'm talking about? So we are babes in the spirit always. You know what I mean? We're not full grown. Read. Come on. That ye may grow thereby. Uh huh. That's why we get. That's how we get grow. That's how we get our growth. We get a. We get a strong foundation. We get our bone structure strong. Our soul strong. You see what I'm talking about? Read that again. Second verse. Uh, First Peter chapter two, second verse. Read. As newborn babes uh -huh. desire the sincere milk. Desiring the sincere milk. Read. Of the word. Read of the word Elohim. Read. That ye may grow thereby. Uh huh. Read. Since ye have tasted that the Savior is gracious. Read. We have tasted that the Savior is gracious. I'm just gonna point here. Not on the cross anymore. Okay. But it says we know this image no more. We know Joshua's side. After the flesh any longer. You see, I'm talking about we got to, we got to get this image, or Yahweh have to shatter this image, you know what I mean, out right. of our conscience. See what I'm talking about? Right. We're in the spirit now. He's resurrected uh, in corporeal, super corporeal form now. You see what I'm talking about? Okay. That spiritual house. Not a physical house, spiritual house. Read. Come on. To whom coming? As unto a living stone, uh -huh. disallowed uh -huh. indeed of men, uh -huh. but chosen of Yahweh Read. and precious. Uh -huh. Ye also, as living stone, uh -huh. are built up uh -huh. a spiritual uh -huh. house. Built up a spiritual house. Read. A holy priesthood. A holy priesthood. To offer up spiritual sacrifices. You see, I'm talking about to offer up spiritual sacrifices, not physical sacrifices. See how I go? Yes. Read. Acceptable to Yahweh. Acceptable unto Yahweh. Read by Yahshua the Messiah. Read. Wherefore also it is content in the Scripture. Uh huh. Behold, the Scriptures being the law and the prophets. Read. Behold, I lay in Zion the chief cornerstone. Uh huh. Elect precious. Uh huh. And he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. Uh huh. That's good. So now, it says a scripture down there at the bottom of that page, right? It was Isaiah. Isaiah 28 and 16. All right, so go on and get, um, go on and turn there, we're going to end right here. Go on and get Isaiah 28, 9 and 10, then jump to verse uh, 15. 28 and 
Uh, Isaiah 28, 9 and 10. Read, come on. Holy Bible. Read on. Whom shall he teach knowledge? Now, whom shall Yahweh teach knowledge? Read. And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? And who doctrine? shall Yahweh, Elohim, Yahshua, make to understand doctrine? You see what I'm talking about? He's, he's the one. Read. Them that are weaned from the milk. See them. See them that are weaned from that sincere milk. You see what I'm talking about? Weaned from that sincere milk after you get your foundation. You know what I mean? To get your bones strong. You see what I'm talking mm -hmm. about? Then he's going to wean you off. You see what I'm talking about? <laughs> so you'll be able to convert that thing over to reality. You know what I'm talking about? Read. Of Come them on. that are weaned from the milk uh -huh. and drawn from the breast. See, weaned from the milk, drawn from the breast. See what I'm talking about? That's the sincere milk. You see what I'm talking about? The law and the prophets. You know what I mean? The Old Testament. The volume of the book. The scripture. You see what I'm talking about? Read. For precept must be upon precept. All right, so precept must be upon precept. See, you understand the bloodline? Yes. Waterline? Spirit line. You see what I'm talking about? Uh, uh, death, burial, resurrection. You see what I'm talking about? Most holy place, holy place, court roundabout. You see what I'm talking about? Yes. Yahweh, Elohim, Yahshua. You see what I'm talking about? These three are one. You know what I mean? Yes. Line upon line. Precept upon precept. Read. For a precept must be upon precept. Mm -hmm. And you can run it from, from Genesis to Revelation. You see what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Read. For a precept must be upon precept. Uh -huh. Precept upon precept. Read. Line upon line. Line upon line. Just like this. See? Line upon line. See? Line upon line. See? Read. Line upon line. Uh -huh. Hear a little. Hear a little to the law of the prophets. Hear a little. And they're, and, they're, and they're a little to a fulfillment, spirit fulfillment books. Read. For with stammering lips and other tongues. Uh huh. With stammering lips means just keep going over and over and over and over again. Every class. You know what I mean? Read. Will he speak to these people? Will he speak to his people or to these people? Going to get down to the 15th verse, it said it is. Uh, Isaiah 28 and 16. Uh, is that what it said? Yes, sir. Read on. A whole name Bible. Uh huh. Therefore, Thus says Yahweh. Uh -huh. th excuse me. Therefore, thus said Yah Yahweh. Behold, I lay in Zion for the foundation of stone, uh -huh. and a tied stone, a precious cornerstone, uh -huh. a sure foundation. Uh -huh. He that believeth shall not make haste. All right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This just uh, just flip back over to um, First Peter second chapter. You're going, to, you're, going to, now you're going to just pick right right up at the top part of the page. And your second, um, just, just start right there at the uh, verse 7. Okay. Just, just end right there. Go ahead and read. Uh, 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 7. Read. Unto you, therefore, which believe he is precious. To, but uh, unto you that believe that Yash Messiah is precious. I'm going to use it right here. He's precious. Read. But unto them which be disobedient. For them that be disobedient now, read. The stone which the builder rejected. The stone which the builder, we're talking about Yah's Messiah, they rejected him, read. This, the, that's the, he's the true stone, read. The same is made the head of the corner. See, the same is made the head see, of the corner. You see what I'm talking about? And right here, on, the, on this pictorial illustration right here, it says stone. You see what I'm talking about? Yes. Daniel 2 and 45. You don't have to get it because we read it uh, in our previous class. It says Elohim on the stone right here. You see what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. So the stone is the stone is, 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 is stone is, 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 is knocking this is knocking this beast man of sin mm -hmm. or this image. Down. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yes. Shattering, but it be but he hit him in the head though. Yes. You see what I'm talking about? And it's shattered. That whole image and shattered that beast, you saw about, and shatter, you know what I mean, anything you got up inside of you. You see what I'm talking about? Going to shatter, shatter the image of you have of yourself. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yes. Just shatter it all. Shatter malice, hatred. Yes. You see what I'm talking about? Hypocrisy. Jealousy. You see what I'm talking about? Jealousy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Not loving the brethren. You yeah. see what I'm talking about? Not encouraging the brother, not edifying the brethren. Right. You know what I'm talking about? Going to shatter all that. You see what I'm talking about? It's only going to be one. 
which is Yash Messiah. He's the head, you know what I mean, of the corner. If you've got anything out this day's class, all praise and honor and glory belongs to Yahweh Elohim Yahshua. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That will conclude another class given by the Omaha Class College Meetings. Have any comments? All praise go. You guys must say hallelujah. All right. We hold classes here in Omaha, Nebraska, on Wednesdays and Fridays from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. and on Sunday from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. And to get the history in the background of the entire organization, you go to our official website of the entire organization you can go to www.idmr.net and get the history of the entire organization for yourself. Okay? Also, um, I'd like to say um, we upload videos after every class. All right, so you can find our videos <coughs> on YouTube. Go to YouTube, search, put in IDMR Omaha. And ask Yahshua Messiah to lead and direct and guide you to the video that he wants you to watch. And I'd like to um, promote other IDMR classes that upload their videos of their classes also, okay? So you must put an IDMR and then the class name, okay? This one is, is put an IDMR Oceanside, IDMR Syracuse. IDMR Spanish Town, Jamaica. IDMR Ark Port. IDMR Ontario. IDMR Southfield. IDMR Springfield. IDMR Albuquerque. IDMR Northside, Chicago. IDMR Tampa, Florida. IDMR Meridian, IDMR Lansing, Michigan, all right? Mm -hmm. And there's one other class, but you do not put IDMR in front of their class name. But you do go to YouTube, search, put in Memphis Side Class. And all the classes I just announced to you, you ask Yashmin Side to lead, direct, and guide you to which class he wants you to watch, okay? In the, the videos, all right? And I want to promote five websites. The first website is called ayahasheraya.org. Aya spelled A-Y-A-H, put space. Asher spelled A-S-H-E-R, put another space. And put Aya, once again, A-Y-A-H.org, Aya. The second one is www.plimplim.org. Once again, www.plimplim.org. The third one is www.eliyah.com. Eliyah spelled E-L-I-Y-A-H, Eliyah.com, www.eliyah.com. Um, let's see here. The fourth one is Yahshua's giving glory. Yahshua is spelled Y-A-H-S-H-U-A-N-S, giving glory. Yahshua's giving glory. And the last website is All Things Scripture. Okay, and this last but not least, um, our Mississippi Meridian class, or excuse me, our Meridian Mississippi class, they have what they call live conference calls. Once again, the Meridian Mississippi class, they have what they call live conference calls. To engage in live conference calls, you dial 1-712-770-4700 and you put in your phone 676-123 hashtag and engage in live conference calls. In their previous recorded conference calls, you dial 1-712-770-4709 you put in your phone 676-123 hashtag and may Yahweh bless you. Also, I think I missed something. Yes, um, uh, if you'd like to attend a class, here we welcome you. Um, you, 
can you can leave us a detailed email stating uh, the day you'd like to attend a class here. You can you can our email address is Yashua47 at gmail.com. Once again, Yashua spelled Y-A-H-S-H-U-A 47 at gmail.com. Also, you can leave a detailed voice message um, on our phone. You can, you can contact Dr. Stefan Williams by phone. Phone number is area code 402-609-6, excuse me. Phone number is area code 402-973-8987. Leave a detailed voicemail on the time you'd like to attend a class here. And for further contact information, you can, you can dial Sister Rapunzel Williams at area code 402-609-6588. And once again, may Yahweh bless you. We welcome you to uh, study with us, to come fellowship and, or, and uh, sup with us, if that's Yahweh's will. And uh, this is not a selfish thing. We, Yahweh willing, we, 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 we go out also and visit other branch schools. Uh, Yahweh permits that to happen. Yes. Because all is Yahweh's will. Um, it's always Yahweh's willing, if I say it like that. <clears throat> is there anything else? Yes. All right, so uh, may Yahweh bless you. Amen. Let's stand for the doxology. The doxology can be found in your King James Version of the Bible in the book of Jude, spelled J U D E, verse 24 and verse 25. And in the Holy Name Bible, it will say the book of Judah, spelled J-U-D-A-H. Truly, Judah, but it's spelled Judah, J-U-D-A-H. In the Holy Name Bible, same verses, verse 24 and verse 25. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you father before the presence of the glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise Elohim, our Savior, through Yahshua Messiah, our sovereign, Belong in glory and majesty, dominion and power, both before all time, now and ever. Let us all say, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.